Hey everyone, welcome to another episode. My name's Dom Warner. Today I want to talk about Tesla uh, and I want to talk about uh, them from a software perspective. Uh, Elon Musk in the last uh, earnings call put a big emphasis on software, basically saying Tesla's a massive software company and just as much a software company as it is an automotive company. And also said that this year is the year for Tesla uh, software. Uh, or software in terms of Tesla. Uh, so I wanted to dive into an article that I actually read last year. It was written on May 7th, 2021, um, and it was written by Jensen Fong. I have it right in front of me, so I'm gonna go through it right here with you. Uh, so let's dive into that. Basically, um, Jensen Fong says a Tesla app store will drive Tesla's revenue to new heights. Now, the reason why I wanna go back onto uh, this article is I haven't actually read it uh, since back when it was written. I think I re read it a week or two after it was written. Um, a lot of people have looked into, a lot of people have shared this article um, and a lot of people resonated with it and uh, also believed with the uh, thesis behind it. Uh, so a well-known argument among Tesla bulls and bears is whether Tesla should be valued as a car, car or technology company. Uh, bears argue that, t uh, that since Tesla's primary revenue driver is the sale of electric vehicles, it is no different from Ford or GM. As such, it should be valued as a car company. Bulls argue that Tesla is a technology company that happens to make electric vehicles. Specifically, Bulls point out Tesla's software advantages to explain why it is a technology company. Uh, as of this writing, Tesla generates no software-related revenue. Uh, this article will explore why Tesla is a technology company and how its leading software advantage will drive revenue to new heights. Look, from my perspective, uh, and I I agree with, with the last statement, I do think that Tesla is more than just an automotive company. But I think just like Apple, everyone thinks of Apple as a iPhone, iPhone right? Phones. But they have computers, they have the iMac, they have all the so much different software, they have the App Store, they have revenue coming in from so many different sources, but everyone still remembers Apple as, you know, a phone manufacturer. Uh, and I think it'll be the same for Tesla. Tesla will always be remembered as an automotive company, but they will have their energy sectors, um, they'll have their insurance sector that they're going into, and I believe they'll have their software sector and then eventually their robotics so uh, side of the business as well. Tesla produces iPhones with wheels. Um, this is actually a really funny statement um, because I have a few friends that every time they see a Tesla, they point out, look at the giant iPad in the middle. Uh, and, and it's true, it stands out like crazy and uh, Tesla is well known for uh, its uh, software, not software approach, but it's a te technology approach into um, the way their cars are, you know, are driven and and when you jump in at Tesla, you, you, you notice straight away that its technology is at heights that other automotive companies are not at. Um, the premise that Tesla is a car company uh, because of its revenue is derived from the sale of electric vehicle is flawed. Tesla does not produce electric vehicles. It produces iPhones with wheels. Okay, uh, This is an important distinction because uh, a business with fixed hardware margin is vastly different than a business with recurring software margin. In the same way that Apple's App Store changed our perception of a phone, Tesla is doing the same with to a car. Tesla produces smart cars. This is not an open canvas for developers to build on. That is an open canvas for developers to build on. The car is no longer static. Is no longer a static device where you can only generate revenue the moment you sell it. When Apple sells a phone, not only does Apple generate fixed revenue from selling hardware, Apple also generates recurring software revenue through their app store. Uh, the idea of a smart car with an app store is further accelerated by autonomy in future where cars are autonomous. What will people do when they travel with their car? One thing that's really interesting is I think this will uh, expand a lot as well as that full self-driving becomes more and more advanced as people uh, become more and more comfortable with dare I say it, not paying attention to the road and letting the car do the work, right? That's where I think the software possibilities really, really open up um, for Tesla. Um, Elon basically put a tweet here basically saying, uh, try playing Polytopia uh, in your Tesla Great Game multiplayer online version coming soon. What should Teslas do with in-car in gaming and autonomous world? 
one thing that I thought this was really cool, one thing that I that I always thought with with Tesla's gaming side of things is this is their way to to test, uh, you know, putting apps out there, seeing how well they work, um, you know, how how often people use it and things like that. Uh, people will do what they normally do when they are not driving: consume media, work, play games, etc. Uh, in this future, your car is simply an, an extension of your phone. Tesla naturally plays into this future because their cars are connected, connected devices with huge di displays. The introduction of a Tesla app store will help Tesla generate recurring software revenue. The sale of electric vehicle is only an enabler of this future. In reality, a sizable portion of Tesla's automotive revenue in the future will come from the app store with recurring software revenue. I think too that one thing that um, that a lot of people don't realize when it comes to um, Apple and Android, right, is I know for myself, I will probably continue to buy Apple for the next, I don't know, 10, 15 years. And the reason is because I have brought apps on the App Store and if I go to Android, I, I can't get those apps anymore. Maybe there is a way to do that now, but as far as I'm aware, those apps, I would have to pay for them again if I want them on Android. So I'm probably going to stick with Apple just because of that. Uh, it's not just a dream, it's already here. The vision of Tesla App Store is not just a dream, it's already here. Sorry, re-read re there. I previously stated that Tesla generates no software-related revenue. This is not entirely true. Currently, Tesla generates most of its software revenue from selling full self-driving. That is correct. Uh, so full, so, so full self-driving, just an edit to this. Uh, I believe it's around ten thousand, might even be eleven thousand now dollars up front, uh, and I believe that sticks with the car, not the individual. Um, you might have to check that, or you can pay a hundred dollars a month subscription fee. Um, however, a large part of Tesla's future software revenue will come from having an in-car app store. Uh, we already see hints of this future. Uh, dog mode. When a user uh, when a user on Twitter asked Elon if he can include dog mode, this feature was rap rapidly in implemented. Although not monetized, this illustrates the first signs of a Tesla app store. Can you put dog mode on the Tesla Model Three where music plays and the AC is on with a display screen saying "I'm fine, my owner will be right back." Yes. One thing that's really interesting is obviously um, you know Tesla could potentially make all the apps for Tesla cars, right? Um, but if they really want to open up the potential, then you need an app store because, you know, your creativity is limited, right? You can only come up with so many things and opening it, opening it up to other people and especially, um, you know, be, make, helping people be able to monetize it, make money from it. Uh, and Tesla takes a little cut, right? I think that would be a massive game changer. Tesla Arcade. In 2019, Tesla unveiled a slew of games users can play in their Tesla vehicles. This includes Cuphead, Fallout Shelter, uh, Beach Buggy, Racing, Chess, just to name a few. Uh, this is similar uh, to how the iPhone changed the gaming industry when people started playing games on their phones. I think that the games on the Tesla at the moment are a little bit of a novelty, uh, but I could be wrong. Uh, the way I look at it, you're sitting on the couch, you've got a phone in front of you, right? So I don't think that the Tesla App Store, in terms of gaming, is ever going to compete with iPhone or with a computer. But it's still a source of revenue, right? And uh, you never know. Um, you know, once you open this up to developers, you know, some amazing things might come from it. Uh, Tesla RK and Dog Mode are small examples of what a Tesla App Store is capable of doing. Where developers are allowed to build apps on a Tesla platform, this will give rise to an app boom similar to the smartphone revolution in the 2010s. I believe that. I do. Uh, I think one thing that Tesla is going to have to pay close attention to is making sure that no one can mess with the car in any way when they create these apps. Um, I know yeah, Apple did have some issues when they've you know as things went on. But they were pretty prompt on top of it. I think with a car, though, it's pretty dangerous, right? If your car loses control, people can, you know, ultimately, you know, die. So Tesla's going to have to be even more prompt on top of it uh, to avoid anything like that ever happening because the, the news would just eat it up. Um, where are we heading? If the idea of a Tesla app store is so good, why is Tesla not doing it? They are, sort of. Twitter users found a subdomain evidence of Tesla working on an app store. 
Maybe an app store to drive more talented third-party game developers. Tesla must be already working on it because they have subdomain websites dedicated to it and authentic authentication already built in. Apps.tesla.com, mobile.tesla.com. Interesting. I don't, I don't remember seeing that tweet. That's cool. Um, in order for it to be worthwhile for somebody to write an app, there has to be enough of an install base to warrant the effort. Even if you are going to port something... Uh, it's still not worth the effort. As as our as our number of vehicles grow, it starts to potentially make more sense to develop games and other applications for Tesla. We just need a lot of cars. If we have millions of cars, then that could make sense. There is no point in putting a massive amount of effort into an app store until the number of vehicles is higher. There is no money in it right now. You can't compete with 500 million iPhones or 2 billion Android devices. We are orders of magnitude away from that. Very, very true. Uh, fast forward to the end of 2020. Tesla has delivered 1.4 million units. Um, actually, interesting point. Okay, cool. So Tesla has essentially, according to this article, uh, if you consider this, Tesla has essentially um, produced, you know, I think that's over 2 million units now. Um, so that's pretty, pretty impressive. Uh, since the writing of this article, they've written, they've made uh, almost another million. Uh, financial impact of the Tesla App Store. If Tesla decides to create an in-car app store, what will the financial, what will be the financial impact? Because of the creation of the Tesla App Store, will likely happen near the end of the decade. Forecasting the financial impact of the Tesla App Store nine year into the future is difficult. However, there are three levers that will in, that will dictate how much revenue Tesla App Store will generate. One thing I didn't just notice one thing I did just notice that this statistics right, Tesla's almost built uh, during a so during a supply chain crisis and chip chip shortage, Tesla have almost doubled the amount of vehicles they had in just one year or have delivered in total in just one year. Uh, growth rate of Tesla vehicles uh, vehicle growth rate is the main lever that would di uh, dictate the financial impact of the Tesla App Store in the coming decade. Uh, as more vehicles are delivered, uh, more vehicles will generate recurring revenue for Tesla. During Tesla's 2020 Q1 early earnings call, Elon reiterated a 50% compound annual growth rate for vehicle deliveries. If this prediction comes to fruition, Tesla will deliver north of 20 million cars uh, in, in 2030. Adjusting the growth rate to 40% gives 10 million car, 10 million vehicles delivered in 2030. It's not hard to see that software-related revenue is directly tied to vehicle deliveries. This situation is similar to Apple's iPhone. Obviously, Apple had a massive boom, um, and they were sort of first to market with the smartphones. Or, well, they weren't first to market, but they were first to really, you know, get some momentum going. Software as, as a service as a portion of total revenue. SAS as a portion of total of revenue is the next piece of information to forecast the impact of Tesla App Store. We can lean into Apple's iPhone growth story to get a sense of Tesla's uh, SAS revenue. From following the chart, we see that service represented less than 6% of Apple's total revenue growth, uh, total revenue. However, iPhone business matured service group represent 20% of total Apple's total revenue. If we extrapolate Apple's iPhone growth story to Tesla, SaaS could represent 20% of to Tesla's total revenue in 2030. Profit margin of software as a service. Profit margin of as software as a service is the last level that lever that would dictate the impact of Tesla App Store. Traditionally, software margin from 60 to 80 percent. This is because the margin to sell an additional software product is virtually zero. Depending on how uh, one dabbles with the three levers, uh, you can calculate the software-based revenue Tesla App Store to be anywhere from 2 billion to 40 billion quarterly because there are a lot of unknowns. Quantity, a quantitative analysis is not tremendously useful. However, it is clear that software will build uh, will help Tesla generate more revenue uh, that is currently realize uh, this paradigm shift from regular car to smart car is arguably the most exciting revolutions is the iPhone and Tesla is paving the way to realizing this dream. 
Uh, I think this is a really cool article. And one thing that I just wanted to add onto the bottom of this as well is uh, Elon has been quite, um, not dismissive, but he has pointed out that, uh, you know, Apple in the past through tweets that Apple does charge a lot for, um, you know, the ability to sell an app on the App Store. They take quite large margins uh, out. So I don't expect Tesla to follow that same suit. Um, but even still, uh, I, I believe it would be huge revenue driver. And I think it would just be cool. I think it would be cool. It would be great marketing ploy as well. Um, and if they can be first to market with the App Store, um, then that, that will be massive. Because you, um, you look at Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, and I always thought that they were sort of going to go down that route. And there is apps, but it really hasn't worked. Um, and I think one of, one of the main reasons is because um, you know, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, Auto are only as good as the technology that's implemented behind it. And when you've got so many different automakers, it re makes it really, really hard. Um, but obviously, Tesla have full control of where their software goes. Uh, and Tesla don't have to license that software if they don't want to. Um, I'm not sure whether it would be beneficial for them to, just like uh, Apple, Apple haven't, you know, handed out their software everywhere. Um, Microsoft has, but Microsoft wasn't really building computers in the early days either. Uh, so they needed to put it somewhere uh, similar to Android. Uh, so thanks for watching today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good one. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy content like this. And I'll catch you next time.